Hiya! Today's task is all about exploring different art materials and creating, looking at different ways of, of representing, depicting texture and colour and stuff. Step one, you need to find something interesting to draw. So I've got a few bits that I've got in my house and I'm going to have a look at them under the viewfinder and see whether I want to draw it or not. Do I want to draw that? No, I don't. Too boring. Let's have a look at this. I might do that. It's got some interesting textures in it. It's a bit brown, but never mind. Let's see what else I've got. Pineapple. Maybe. Maybe just move it onto more onto that top. Might do that one. Let's have a look at the shell. Hmm. It's got to be that one, hasn't it? Surely. It's a bit white though. Oh, I don't know. No. Oh, I know. I've got something down here. This bit of rust, obviously, is going to be that one, isn't it? Okay, so choose the thing that you want to draw and think about what's interesting to you about it. So this has got loads of stuff. It's got a bit of colour. It's got all of this white texture, scribbly stuff, so I can really have a good old play about the best way of um, representing that. Okay, so that's my setup. First drawing is going to be study seven, oil pastel or scraffito. So what is scraffito? I think it's basically when you scratch back the top surface to reveal what's going on underneath. So you might start by getting a lighter colour. Actually, let's start by drawing out the shape first. So this is the edge of the thing, there it is. I've got like a hole here. How big's that hole? How much of the space is it taking up? I imagine like a halfway line there. It's quite a bit bigger than that actually. And then over this side, another hole and another hole. I'll do it to start us off. Right, so I'm going to put the whole, the whole, colour all of that in with a light colour. Now, if you don't know what's going to happen, you could always use the edge of your page to be, well, you can't see that, can you? Experiment a little bit with what, what colours you can create. I haven't got a huge amount of different colours here, but... Okay, so I'm going to carry on with this very light colour to start with, I think. Right, a bit of that anyway. Hmm, what other colours? Maybe a little bit of yellow. Might have going on there. Some of that over the top. So I've got two different types of oil pastels here and as you can see the yellow is like a much much better one because it's not really allowing this cheaper one to go over the top of it. But that's all part of the fun. 
Oh, this is a lovely other one. So you build, build up a few colours and then you're going to start scratching into it with whatever you try loads of different stuff. So I've got a few bits and bobs here, got, oh, I don't want to use that, a nice hair grip. So I could start squiggling in, making those marks of the, I don't know what they are, the wiggly rust marks. With that you could try, what have you got, I've got a knife here. more sort of blending them together. You don't have to do scraffito. Um, what else? I've got a knife. And do. Um, pencil, what happens with the pencil? Oh, actually, I've got a coloured pencil, which I've got here, darker one, the yellow ochre one. We ought to just do some little bits of texture. Maybe you think, hmm, it's not orange enough. I need a bit more orange in there. Could bit of that in. Bit of brown over the top of that. Burnt, is this burnt umber? I think so. And then again you start scribbling in to it to create some texture. Different weights of line using different implements. Okay, do you get the gist? Have a play, see what happens with all of those things. Can't stop on this one, really nice time. Anyway, so study one, finish that on off. That's using oil pastel. Next study, you're going to use paint, but the important thing is that you're going to be um, doing the exact same part of the natural textural object that you've chosen. Um, so I've got some watercolours, so I'm going to do this one in watercolour, but you can use any paint that you like.
Right, next one, you're going to be doing either hatching or stippling using ink. So you can use a biro, a pen, an ink pen. You can use a, a brush dipped in ink. You can use a feather dipped in ink. You can use anything you like but ink. So the last drawing you've got to do, study eight, is with using textural or color, textural mediums or collage. So I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm not going to show you anything. You can cut up tissue paper, magazines, glue down, lentils, do whatever you want. But that is your last study for today. Okay, bye.